Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a look on my girl Chloe Kardashian. She is my favorite Kardashian in the world. I have followed her for a few years now and I absolutely love that she's such an inspiration to girls going through weight loss, just what she's done with her body. And she seems to be a really strong person, which I love. I'm gonna do a Kardashian series. So I will be doing looks on all of them and the Jenna girls, of course. I absolutely love all of their looks and look forward very much to creating them. So this is the photo that I have for inspiration today. Um, I really liked how it turned out. I have an event to go to tonight, so this is a perfect look for me. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Mm. Anyways, enough chit chat about that. If you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Mm. Hi guys, so I'm just going in with an organic lip balm to prep my lips for the lipstick that I'm using today. I really love super beautiful moisturized lips. So now I'm going in with my professionals from Benefit. I really love this primer. If you guys use a different primer and you think it would work better than this, please leave a comment down below because I would love to know what everybody else is using for their pores. Next I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is just super hydrating for me and it just really feels beautiful right before I put on my foundation. So just letting that dry on my face before I apply. I'm going in with the Studio Fix Fluid in NC30 today from MAC. Now I have a fresh fake tan on today so of course this is not going to match my face as I do not tan my face <clears throat> just from the neck down. And just taking my beauty blender and pouncing that on my face to get a beautiful airbrushed look that Khloe Kardashian always seems to have. <clears throat> so just working that product right around my face, blending it all the way nice and seamlessly. This is a great color for if you guys have a fake tan on. And I use the Bondi Sands in dark and I just do basically two layers of that where I want it darkest. So I really like um, dark legs. So I tend to do two coats on my legs and my arms. And don't forget the ears girls, it's really important. Like if you have an event on and you're having a hair back, that your ears match like the rest of your face and the rest of your body. So now I'm going in with the Maybelline Angel Wand in the brightener, just right underneath my eyes, just give me that little bit extra brightness for today. Chloe always looks like super flawless and super bright underneath the eyes and I really wanted to just recreate that today. And then I'm going in with again another Adrian Wine. So this is in the yellow tone in light pale. And I'm taking that in a upside down triangle underneath my eyes to begin with. And then just blending all of that out with my beauty blender. You want to be nice and gentle right underneath the eyes because it is only thin skin and it's quite sensitive. <clears throat> so just take your time to kind of get those seamless blending lines. And then just taking that same concealer down the center of my face, so basically everywhere that I want to highlight and just bring a little bit of light to. <clears throat> and then just blending all of that out with my beauty blender again, just pouncing it on my face. Just making sure there's no creases underneath my eyes before I go in with my RCMA powder. So just taking my RCMA powder just right underneath the eyes where I would tend to crease 
I definitely do not want that as I have an event to go to this day. So I want to be as full of this as possible. <clears throat> so just taking that powder everywhere that I had my concealer. And then I'm going in to set the rest of my face with Australis Flesh and Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. This one is oil and fragrance free. And it's the first time I've used it and I really love it. It really gave me that super flawless finish. So then going in and chiseling out my cheekbones and my forehead and my jawline with the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. If you guys don't own this, seriously, what do you use? Because this is definitely my ride or die bronzer. I don't like a super harsh contour, but I would definitely go in and chisel out my cheeks with this. And then I'm just going in underneath my bronzer line and chiseling out underneath with the RCMA powder again. This is on a Sigma brush, if you guys are wondering. And then just taking that basically from the middle of my ear right down to the corner of my mouth on each side. It just gives you that beautiful chiseled out look. I'm going in with a Laura Geller blush in Cantaloupe. It's such a beautiful coral blush. Chloe Kardashian does not, she doesn't really look like she wears like a lot of blush. So I just really wanted to go in with something super natural. And then just buffing out those. Uh, lines and going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro, Pro palette in taupe and I just wanted to do my brows really natural today as Khloe Kardashian always looks like her brows are just super natural and not too dark so basically I'm just following along those lines of where mine are cosmetically tattooed and then just keeping them super light and super natural looking for this look and then just concealing my eyes with that same concealer that I used underneath my eyes and just taking this like right from my lash line right up to just underneath my brows and then I'm going to set that with the banana shade in the Kat Von D eye palette right there. So I'm going to set this all day as my eyelids do get oily and I don't want my eyeshadow to move all day. So this is a really important step for me. And then just carving out my nose. I forgot to do it before. But Chloe Kardashian, she always has a snatched as fuck nose. So I've got to carve that out. Now going back with the orange shade at the top on the right in the Kat Von D palette, this is my transition shade. And then it's basically taking that back and forth, back and forth on a very fluffy blending brush. Now I have my eyes open when I do my eyeshadow as I want to see where the eyeshadow is going. It just gives you more of an idea than rather if you have one eye closed. Now going in with the lightest brown shade in that same palette, it's on the left hand side and I'm just basically taking that on the outer edge and then once most of that product is off my brush, then I'm kind of swirling it around all over the eye, just above the crease. Now I'm taking that lightest brown again, and this is going to be my um, eyelid color. So this is my movable eyelid. So today I'll be creating that super sultry eye that Khloe Kardashian is famous for. And um, it always has a super brown, just beautiful, gorgeous eye. So basically just packing this on to my eyelid and then taking a smaller blending brush with that same color on it and then just buffing that above, just above my crease. 
to kind of blend that out seamlessly and just create a little bit more of depth with my eye. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth with that brown until I get the intensity that I'm after. And then just cleaning up any kind of lines that if they've fallen below where you don't want them. And just taking that banana shade back and blending out any harsh lines that I have above where I do not want that colour. And basically today I'm just going back and forth, back and forth with that brown and the orange and just creating the depth that I want. Now I'm going in with the darkest brown in that eyeshadow palette and I'm running that right along my lash line. And then I'm just going to take a pencil brush and blend that right out along my lash line. And then basically I'm just going to keep going back and forth with that one. And then taking that same brown shade on my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with a nude pencil from MAC and just doing my lower waterline with that. And I'm taking the false lash telescopic from L'Oreal Paris. This is the first time that I'm using this mascara and I have heard YouTubers rave about it for probably years. And I picked one up because I found it at my local chemist for half price so I thought why not try it out and so far so good. So now I'm going in with the Morphe 110 Black Lashes. This is the first time using this style and I liked them for this look but it's probably not a lash that I would use again if that makes sense. I'm going in with MAC emphasize to brighten up right underneath my eyes and everywhere that I used the concealer. I'm going in with my That Glow Kit in Dripping in Gold. For my highlight today, this is such a beautiful shade. Chloe was definitely highlighted in that photo, but it wasn't like cray cray highlighted so I just wanted to keep it natural just like a beautiful glow like she always has so just going on the tip of my nose then my cupid's bow my forehead my chin and then on the tops of my cheekbones and now for lips I'm going in with a new lip liner that I have Bel Air from Gerard's Cosmetics this is the creamiest lip liner that I have ever used. It is so gorgeous. So now I'm going in with LA Colors. This is a lip gloss, but it's a matte one. So I guess you would call it a liquid lipstick. And this is the perfect shade. It matched like pretty much 100% to the photo that I was using. So gorgeous. So now I'm just taking this and just overlining my lips a little bit as Khloe Kardashian has a super pouty lip as always. I'm taking that same mascara and doing my bottom lashes. And I found it worked really good for the bottom lashes. And then just blending my top lashes together with my strip lashes. So then I'm just taking that same darkest brown shade and then just basically running that along my lash line to create that little bit more of a sultry look. So now I've waited for that lipstick to dry and go matte and going in with the NARS Turkish Delight lip gloss. This lip gloss is life, like so pretty. 
I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to finish off my look. And this is the final look, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And hopefully this isn't too hard of a look. It was really easy for me to recreate. I loved how it turned out. I'm definitely not used to putting dark colors on my movable eyelid, but I think it really suited me. So I might do a little bit more of this. Anyway guys, this is the finished look. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you guys haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.